Hello everyone and welcome back. Pokemon Soul Silver. We are streaming on YouTube today instead of Twitch. Lately I've been playing around with the idea of doing more streams on YouTube as opposed to Twitch because we're just not growing on Twitch as to where every time I do a stream on YouTube we grow a little. I do have more, uh, you know, I have more to say about that coming up, but that's going to be, uh, something I do in another video. Um, how's it going? See, it's showing your comment on screen, but it's not showing you in, uh, it's not showing you in the mobile app. Okay, so last time we took the big magnet train back to the Johto region because we have some errands to run in Johto today. After that, we're going to fight blue and get our eighth badge. But our first stop today is going to be going to see Kurt and see if he has any Pokeballs ready for us. Let's check in with Kurt. <laughs> yeah, just finished. Good man. Wait, we didn't tell him to make any more, did we? I just grabbed the ones he had finished and took off. All right, one second. <coughs> yes, I would love for you to make some. Um, Let's see what the blue ones give us. Probably water related. They're probably all color coded if I had to take a guess. The black ones give us heavy balls. And I guess the blue will probably get dive or net or something like that. Okay. Let's check. 30. Looks like just about every route's gonna have. Um. For the most part, I'm working on the story elements. Um, I am going to get all the badges and try and fight red. I would like to try and finish the Pokedex the best I can. Um, let me take, let me take a quick jump in here and I'll show you. Um, we previously played through Pokemon Leaf Green and we played through Pokemon Sapphire. And as a result, we ported all of the Pokemon forward. So you can see that uh, all the little critters have been ported forward. Um, the Johto's I was going to grab from this game. I'm missing like version exclusives and some that I couldn't get. Um, I just didn't feel like playing through Ruby all the way just to get a few Pokemon. They'll be available in later games. I am... Um, I'm glad you brought it up because I'm back and forth on how exactly to handle this as a let's play. Because when you're doing these Pokemon games in your own personal time, it's easy to kind of sit back and play the game when you have free time to do it. You know what I mean? Um, it gives you more freedom to say, complete the Pokedex, trade between games, trade with your buddies. But when you're doing uh, a live stream or even just a let's play in general, it's a little harder to, to make those calls because you could take something like, uh, you know, Pokemon's an RPG and RPGs already take a long time to finish, you know, compared to playing through like Mario or something. We we're going to be here for a long time working through an RPG. But then if you get into like completing the Pokedex, and exploring every cave and, and stuff like that. It really super extends the playtime of that game. And if your audience is over it, you're going to lose them, you know? So you kind of have to make an, you have to kind of, at the end of the day, you have to call an audible and see how people feel. Um, also, 
I say that, but let's be honest, given my track record for like having a small to no existent audience on YouTube, I've, I've, I've over the years, I've kind of just uh, done whatever I wanted as far as content is concerned and more or less hoped that people would, um, you know, enjoy it. So I've never really been a big proponent of mm, do my content to appease people. You know what I mean? Um, I know that's a big thing on Twitch. It's probably one of the larger reasons I don't enjoy Twitch as much. Um, I don't hate Twitch. But I do find Twitch highly annoying. Like, uh, the constant bits messages, the constant subs, the constant having to stop the game you're playing to, oh, so-and-so subscribed for three months. Thank you so much. And then there are all the bells and whistles going off and all the notifications going off. I don't like that. It really takes away from what you're doing on screen. So, I'm highly debating just switching over to doing YouTube permanently. Um, you were not around when I was trying out, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, variety streams last year. Um, I was doing like reaction content and trying out variety streams where I would just watch other people's videos and, and comment on them. Kind of like what I do with the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World content. We'll watch other videos and then we'll do um, reactions to them. But I was doing that with YouTube videos and I kind of want to bring that back. So I'm planning on bringing that back before long. Um, yeah, and see, that's another thing. They do that. They do those shout outs because people are giving them money, but. I'm not getting any money for it, so. Hmm, let's try Aerial Ace. Okay, Aerial Ace didn't do a lot of damage, so I'm gonna switch over to Shadow Claw. Yeah, we've got a busy week. I don't know if you saw that, uh, my message on threads or the, the message I put in Discord, but today we're doing Pokemon, tomorrow we're doing Chrono Trigger, followed by, uh, Kirby will be Thursday, then Tyler and I are gonna start Amnesia Friday, then Saturday, we're doing the big 300 subscriber special. And then we'll do a patron stream Sunday. So, we're going to be quite busy for the rest of the week. But, uh, I also like kind of setting myself apart and doing things, you know, my own way. Doing things differently from the way that the, the uh, so many other streamers do. Again, if I had a larger audience... I can't with 100% certainty say I wouldn't be on board with the bells and the whistles. But since I don't, I have to kind of do the, you know, the streams the way that make more sense. Let's see. Route 35. <laughs> We what we may do. I was thinking about this the other day. Since Pokemon uh, Legends AZ is slated to release next year, we may break doing these games in order, and we may skip. We we're still going to do platinum and black and white and everything, but what we may do is um 
jump straight to Pokemon uh, X and Y so that we can familiarize ourselves on stream. We all are familiar with it, but so that, you know, we can kind of play through the Kalos region. And um, I don't know. Yeah, see, that was my thinking too. If it's at the beginning of a stream or at the end of your stream, then I'm cool with it. You know, do your shout outs, do your ad reads or whatever, but lately it's gotten out of control, man. Every YouTuber that I used to watch, I've had to stop watching because they'll get five minutes into their video. And hey, I'm just going to take a moment and shout out. Today's sponsor is this blue water bottle right here. I think it's the greatest water bottle that I've ever used in my entire life. I swear by it. I go out hiking and I drop it and it doesn't take any damage. It doesn't bend. It's easy to clean. The top just screws right off. And they spend 10 minutes talking about their sponsored water bottle. Meanwhile, the game's just sitting there. <laughs> I'm like, nah. I'm good. You know, and it's like, too, when you first subscribed to me or followed me on Twitch, I was going back and forth with, should I turn the ads off? Should I leave the ads on? Should I turn them off? Should I leave them on? Come to find out, even when I turn them off, Twitch still runs ads. <laughs> even if I don't turn them on. Same with YouTube. I'm not monetized on YouTube. You have to have... You have to reach 1,000 subscribers and have X amount of, of, of view time on your videos before you're allowed to monetize on YouTube. I don't meet the threshold. I can't advertise on YouTube, but I, you bet your sweet ass that YouTube is still running ads on my videos. So legally, the way that it's set up, I'm considered a contractor. I'm not employed by YouTube or Google or Alphabet, however you want to view it. I'm not employed by Twitch directly. I'm a contractor. I make the content. They contract me to make content on their platform. That's how that works. So at the end of the day, if I don't get paid, they don't give a shit. <laughs> I agree with you on that. I don't, I'm not against sponsored content. I'm not against them needing to make their money. Like if, if you make a living strictly off of content creation, I respect that. That's totally fine. Um, but I kind of wish that it was at the beginning or the end of a video. I don't like breaking the momentum of the flow of the video for your ad read. I think that's more what I'm trying to say, but yeah, you, I guess I should make that clear. If you need to advertise, that's fine. I mean, nobody likes ads, but if you need to pay your bills, you need to pay your bills, you know? All right, let's see. All right, we talked to Kurt. We've battled a few. Any more routes with trainers? Route 44. Route 44. All right. So let's see. And knock on wood, we haven't had any more internet issues during streams um, since the last time I had to call Spectrum. The lady I spoke to on the phone said she did a firmware update on my modem. Maybe that fixed it. I don't know. <laughs> Fingers crossed, I suppose. I've done a handful of streams since that phone call and it hasn't acted up since. Also, yesterday, I stayed up. The last two days, I ended up staying up over 30 hours. Um, I woke up at 6 p.m. the other day and went straight into a stream with Tyler. I woke up. I had enough time to grab some water, 
take my pills, sit down, go live. We did a Chrono Trigger stream. And then the rest of the night I was working on stuff and watching It's Always Sunny. And I tried to go to bed around 2 a.m. I took some melatonin and I laid down and I just laid there and laid there for the longest. And I ended up being up for the, the whole day. And um, so I guess now I'm gonna be on days again for a bit until I could, till my sleep gets screwed up again. I am going to put in a lot of effort this time to make sure that it, I maintain a healthy sleep schedule. I'm going to try my hardest, you know. Not that I haven't been trying, I'm just going to try harder. And uh, hopefully it really works out because I need to, I need, I need a healthier routine. Plus combat. out. <laughs> But uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, we've had a huge influx of subscribers on the channel recently, and I'm pretty happy about it. Um, that James Bond video that I did has almost 2,000 views. None of my videos in the eight years that I've been on YouTube have ever broken a thousand. Most videos don't break 20 views. Most videos sit at one to zero views, if I'm being honest. But uh, for some reason, that James Bond video took off and the algorithm swept that sucker up and took it out to everybody. So. Yeah. As far as Twitch is concerned, I you know, with the channel points and all the notification, all the bells and whistles, I will do that maybe if I get enough followers chatting every stream and people like that kind of thing it, like if I start making money from that yeah it'd be nice to pay some bills by playing video games but it's not how I like doing things so I probably inevitably won't do that I can, like I like just sitting here and talking to you guys that's my favorite part about doing the streams because I could just sit and make videos all day where i'm just talking to thin air but the the funner part of streaming for me is playing the game and talking to you guys without having to constantly worry about notifications and alarms going off i'll be honest i thought there were going to be way more trainers to fight But I think we cleared everybody. Uh, I guess let's head back to Kanto. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when, when a content creator makes a skit out of the advertisement, I do like that. Brandon Rogers does that a lot. Um, he's a comedian, YouTube youtube comedian that i really love and enjoy um i like the fact that his content's really raunchy too he doesn't dumb himself down for advertisers and uh, i really like that also it's just really funny i enjoy it The train is here. Okay, to reiterate for everybody who might be coming into this video late, we have 15 badges. The only thing left to do is to go fight blue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah. Unless you're the Raid Shadow Legends people, they will literally let anybody shout them out. That's why it's that's why those ad reads are so annoying. There he goes. I've never had a sponsor reach out to me. I did one time have a, a small game developer uh, reach out to me. Um, they're working on a game and I did an, I did a short video for them. I wasn't paid and I wasn't given anything for free. They just sent me like a demo of the game through an email and they said, you know, don't give this to anybody. Um, but pl if you wouldn't mind, play it. And I did that and I wish I'd kept that video, but that's been ages ago. Um, but that's as close as I've ever gotten to like sponsored content. Um, I got rid of the video years ago because it fe I felt like the game really wasn't going to ever see the light of day. And then two, I wanted to be able to say that everything on my channel was... I played because I wanted to play it. You know what I mean? I was being weird in my head. Um, but I should check in and see if they ever finish the game. I forgot what it's called. Don't even ask me what it's called. I think it's on my Steam wish list. I'll have to go look and see. I guess I can. Let me open Steam. We'll open Steam and see if it's on my wish list still. But typically, I don't go to Reddit. I don't like Reddit. I don't use Reddit, but I have a Reddit account anytime that like if I ever have a technical problem with something, if a controller is broken or Windows is acting up, every time you Google it, it always, 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 always sends you to Reddit for whatever fucking reason. So anytime I'm troubleshooting, I usually end up having to go to Reddit. So that's the only reason I have a Reddit account. Tyler swears by Reddit. He loves the damn thing for some reason. I don't like Reddit. But, as I was saying earlier, a year or two ago, maybe longer, this development team reached out to me. Again, they didn't pay me anything. Uh, they didn't give me a free copy of the game, nothing like that. They just saw that I was using the uh, tag LGBTQ on Twitch. And apparently, it's uh, the creative team making it as part of the queer community. So, they were probably just trying to find people with that tag to promote the game. Like I said, I did make a short video about this game. Um, I took it down years ago because um, I'd rather would just do a Let's Play of it. It's built to look a lot like a 64 game. It's a collect-a-thon with this little robot running around here. Um, from what I remember playing of it, it felt very solid. I didn't glitch through the floor. I didn't glitch through the walls. Um, the game wasn't too hard. Like, I didn't have a hard time running around and finding everything. It's very Banjo-Kazooie-esque with collecting the little nuts and bolts, you know. Banjo collected the the music notes in every stage and then he collected the jigsaw puzzles or the jiggies um this seems like it's going to be a better version of what they tried to pull off with ukulele um over the years it's uh over the years there have been a lot of games that have come out that tried to recapture what the n64 had and what it was, which was a very, uh, a lot of games on the 64 were collect-a-thon, let's just be honest. Uh, but this game looks, it looks neat, it looks interesting. And if it ever gets released, I want to buy a copy and I want to support them. And I want very much to um, play it. It's called Misk, A Tiny Tale. Um, I don't know if that's pronounced any other way, but that's the name of it. But yeah, it still says coming soon. Um, it's been in development for a long time. I guess you could call it development hell. Um, that's a term that they use uh, when a game just stays in development for years and years and years with no progress. Um, I might actually try and reach out to them on social media uh, and see if they're still working on this because it would be fun to play this uh, on stream. But uh, anywho, let's jump back over to uh, Pokemon, shall we? Beam always interferes with my controller. 
We gotta go this way for the gym. You'll probably have to reword that question a little, uh, a little bit for my special brain, because I'm not quite wrapping my head around it. He's no pushover. All right, this is going to be the toughest battle so far in the game. And it's not going to be an easy feat getting through his gym trainers either. Statler. Tauros. Well, this guy had two normal type Pokemon. Oh, by the way, there is a poll up in uh, the Roost in the Discord. If you guys wouldn't mind, please head over to the poll section and vote in that poll. This is an important one. I want uh, to get everybody's feedback. Um, because it's a poll asking, uh, how happy everybody is with the Discord and how it's set up at the moment. I'm just putting a filler out there to, to see if everybody's happy with it. Hmm. I propose. You know what we could do? Since you're also a streamer and uh, you've been you're just getting started, one thing we could do is one day I could do a stream where we uh, I show you how to use OBS to the best of my knowledge, and uh, you could ask me questions like how do you resize this, how do you move this, how do you set this up. Um, that might be something we do one day. That might be helpful. Hmm. Hmm. Damn it! Fire blast! Ooh. You want to play with fire? I'll show you fire. Quick, Typhlosion, use flamethrower. Or don't. Now, obliterate this fool. I really need to get back onto that James Bond game, though. I made one episode and walked away because I've been so busy. I really, really need to finish that game. I don't have any... I have no time for it on my schedule this week. Maybe next week that's a thing we do. Same for Animal Crossing. We really need to get back on Animal Crossing. So it's like a year seven on the channel has just been a year of, like, filling, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, huh. It escapes me. Forty-seven, forty-eight, fifty-two, forty-five, forty-five, forty-seven. 48, 52, 45, 45, 47. I don't know what type of Pokemon everybody's going to use in Blue's Gym. I don't have the best memory in the world. I don't remember what his gym is supposed to be. Uh, when Giovanni ran it, it was supposed to be a ground type uh, gym. Giovanni used like ground type Pokemon. Um, I don't, Blue just kind of is a jack of all trades. I don't know what Blue is supposed to. I don't know his 
I don't know. Does it say on the thing? Nope. I want to land there, which means going... Hmm. No! I can tell this is already going to be a shit show of a gym. Trick room. <sighs> Damn. He got me with waterfall. Son of a bitch. Quagsire, I guess. getting toe up from the flow up let me uh Wasn't enough to take out Oregon too. Well, damn. Okay. Um. Close combat? Question mark. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to go back and heal after this for sure, which is unfortunate, but...
You guys were tough. Okay. I need to go heal now. Damn. I wasn't ready for this. Dun, 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 dun. Spender. You seeing that? <laughs> Did you see that? Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Well. Heal myself from confusion. Uh. Hit me with a little bit of iron tail. Oh. Felix saving the day. Ooh, crutch. Hmm. Damn it. No. No. Ooh. I hate that so much. Yay! Bless you, Quick Claw. Oh, damn. That Nell's Hammer arm. Oh, that's. That's going to be a problem. Or maybe not. Oh, it missed. Now can I go back and heal? Cause we took it on the chin. Kyle. Yeah. Route twelve. Okay. I gotta heal before I can do anything. Route 12. That's gonna be in Kanto, I assume. Let's take a look. Route 12. Let's go south from Lavender Town.
How do I know which person it is that wants to rematch? No, that's Route 13. Okay, so it has to be somebody closer to the top of the route. <laughs> Well, I, uh, I'm running out of people. Okay. This guy it is. Bishop and Kyle. Gonna be slowly healing itself. One more fly though is gonna take you out, so it's not gonna matter if you heal yourself. None of that's going to matter. Told ya. Quillfish. Uh. One of the things that I really wanted to do, and I think I spoke about this before, I really wanted to try doing the dual streaming, where I stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, but unfortunately, that's a paid feature in Streamlabs OBS, which I think is stupid. And again, if it were just a couple of bucks a month, maybe, but it is super expensive. So I'm not going to do that, you know? I'm already stretched so thin as it is. But it would have been nice. That is a fat ass squirrel. Now that we've battled Kyle, we can head back to the gym. <laughs> All right, now it's time to battle blue or green, depending on whether you're in the States or in Japan. <laughs> Blue! Let's do this battle. I'm gonna fight Blue. 
Probably get my clock clean too. Okay, so we need to go this way. Then this way. Nope, <laughs> that did not help. Um, shit. Um. I'm going to say always dual save just in case there's a glitch. That's the thing about ROMs and emulators. You always save twice. You should never know. Executor! Go, Skarmory! Skarmory, fly! Fly, my precious fly! There's Trick Room again. Psychic, huh? Ooh, and it was a critical hit. Oh, we withdrew. <laughs> right on. Oh, <laughs> no stone edge. That's going to be a little bit tricky. I have a still attack though. That's gonna hurt. That did nothing. What? We really need to. Oh, it knows Thunder Fang. Ow. I was gonna say we really need to learn Roost. All right. Get him, Quaggy. Jesus. Not full restore. Come on, man. Not you doing this to me, too. I expected you to be a cut above the rest. Take it like a man. It's good that we're getting rid of Executor now because I don't want any of that psychic crap. I don't want you spamming Psychic on me. Gyarados. Uh, should be able to handle this with Ampharos. I hope.
that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be real bad. Uh, fudge. Fudge. It's not good. This is not a good thing that's happening to me right now. Oh, thank God. A dragon dance was about to end my entire career. Watch up. Um, we well, took care of my flying type, so. I could use Heracross, because Heracross has flying and fighting. So I won't take too much damage from fighting to fighting. And I'll have an advantage using Aerial Ace. If we can just get Aerial Ace to do damage. Hmm, that's not great though. Stone Edge is pretty strong. And he's probably going to full restore too. Well, two can play at that game. Oh. Damn it. Critical hit. Yet. Cheating hussy. God damn it. Eat a dick, my champ. Shit, Arcanine. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And that's with using a shield. Jesus. We better take him down before he takes us down. That reflect is not going to last forever. don't know why it doesn't do more damage than that. F 
Fuck. Why do I not have full restores? That's pissing me off. He gets to use full restores. Goddamn burn. Christ on a cross. Cheating motherfucker, cheating motherfucker, cheating motherfucker, cheating motherfucker, cheating motherfucker, yes you are a cheating motherfucking asshole, I hope you lose so hard. Well, at least I was able to buy myself some healing time with uh, Steelix. I am surprised, though, I must admit. I'm, I thought Steelix would take a one-hit shot from all the fire bullshit. No, you survived. Get him, Quaggy. First things we gotta do is we gotta heal up. And I don't know who his last Pokemon's gonna be because I don't think he uses a starter anymore at this point. Unless he whips out Blastoise. Fuck my life. Where did Dragon Pulse come from? What? God damn it. Eat surf, bitch. The rain helps put a damper on fire attacks. This should pretty much end it. Now we can find out who his final Pokemon's gonna be. Probably something devastating. Yep. This should be easy, but watch it turn out to be tricky. No earthquake for you, huh? <laughs> no! 
Oh, you fucked up. Oh, you fucked up hard. Because guess what? God damn it. Well, at least it'll be... Well, will the sleep override the paralyzation? I'm just gonna lay the, the fire down. Lay the smack down on ya. Alright, so I guess the paralyzation um, or the paralysis overrides the sleep. So he's not gonna fall asleep as long as he's paralyzed. I have a strategy though. I think we're okay. I didn't see that coming, but I still think we're okay. Fucking return. Okay. Get him, Quaggy. I don't think he has any full restores left, but you never know. This will guarantee Thunder hits 100%. Level 60 Pidgeot. Ah ha, mirror move failed. Cause I used an item and not an attack. I can only use Surf though, I can't use Earthquake. We might not even need Ampharos. If I can take it down with use, just using Surf, we'll be fine. That return though is pretty damning. Yeah, see. Would have been better if I could put you to sleep, but okay. Perhaps. All right, Quagsire, return. Ah, uh, the rain stopped too. Ain't that some shit? Mother fucker. He did have another full restore. God damn it. And Thunder Mist. Cheating bitches. They just can't stand it when you're better than they are. They gotta keep healing. Why? Why did I know? Why did I know? Oh. 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 Did I know? <laughs> Okay. Okay, Blue. I'm almost out of healing items, too, so we are up against that wall. You know what? I'm not even going to risk the thunder. I'm just going to... Cheating hussy, cheating hussy, cheating hussy, hussy. Cheating huss, cheating huss, cheating hussy, hussy. Well, I beat you because I'm better than you. <laughs> Mr. 18 full restores. Oh, I do miss when Pokemon games were a little challenging, though. I, I will say that, like, Scarlet and Violet was just a fucking walk in the park. I don't want them to be too hard, but I want them to be something, you know what I mean? Although, to be fair... Unlike traditional RPGs, where your character selection is a little more limited, Pokemon can be a little tricky to program for, and I, I give them that. You know, I'll let them have that. Because you have to make an allowance for people being able to train a dozen or two dozen or three dozen or four dozen Pokemon throughout their journey. So, 
you have to kind of plan for every single wild Pokemon that they can catch. Two pallet town. Let's see what old Professor Oak has for us. First, let's heal. That's what do we need to do. You guys got quiet. <laughs> I think chat fell asleep. Come on, Skarm. Let's go see old Professor. You know what? I'm not going to run through all the grass and bullshit. Let's just fly there. We should get rock climb now. That should be rock climb. Yep. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay. Are all the shops the same? I want to say different shops sell different items. But I don't think it's that way in every Pokemon, or maybe it was that way in the first handful. Maybe it's still that way today. Hell, I don't know. I don't remember. I know different ones sell different Pokeballs, but that's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in healing items. Because it's time to restock. This store is really in an inconvenient place. I have 32 of those in my bag, so I think we'll be good. Um, we have 32. We're good on repel. So what about escape rope? We have plenty. Um, what about pokeballs? 124. Good lord. Uh, 47. 41. Think, Eric, think. So, we have a few options available to us now. We have all 16 badges. Oh, we need to go talk to that one guy. Hang on a minute. He's standing out in front of uh, Diglett's cave. I know he's supposed to give us something. We'll go talk to him. So, we need to start catching Johto Pokemon. We need to start working on the Johtos. The only other real story task left would to be go fight Red. That's it. That's it. Oh. 
did I miss a whole route of trainers? I'll take it. Okay. Well, up you both go, I guess. Future sight. Out of spite. <laughs> Future sight. Future spite is out of sight. Ah, you little shit. <laughs> now I'm gonna miss. At least it's not going to be fly this time. Yeah, looks like I skipped this whole damn route. Oops. Get him, Skarm. Like this guy up here. Run, dun, dun. It itches and tickles when I run through the grass. Well, yeah. Grass. You know what's funny? I actually Googled that not too long ago. Because when you're a kid, you, you run around and you play outside a lot. You play in the grass and it itches. And you're always like... I've always wondered what specifically... What scientifically is it that makes grass itchy? Is it simply just the sensation of the fine little blades of grass, you know, touching on your leg? A little. That's not the total contributing factor, though. Um, because of the uh, micro world, tiny microscopic uh, imperfections on the sides of the blades of the grass, little cuts here and there in the blades of grass themselves. The fact that they're so paper thin, they act as little razor blades. So they can cause microscopic cuts on your skin. Nothing that would cut nearly deep enough to make you bleed, nothing like that. Just tiny hairline fractures in the skin that causes a sit itching situation. Not to mention, uh, depending on the grass, there's like a little chemical reaction there too. So there's actually multiple contributing factors scientifically as to what, why grass makes you feel itchy. And uh, I don't know what made me wait until I was an adult to Google that. Because I've always wondered. Oh no! Mean look, now we can't escape! Ooh, we snapped out of confusion though. Did 
Good, I was hoping he wouldn't heal. I was worried he was gonna. Oh, that guy didn't even say anything. Another red, huh? Herman. <laughs> Psychic Herman. <laughs> Herman. Herman Moonster. I don't know how well this is going to come across on camera. Let me show you this. See the blue ring on the controller? See the blue in this toothpick gloss pick? See how blue that is? I love this color blue. I don't think the shade is coming off on camera as vivid as it is in real life, but I just keep looking over at it because it's just, it's just the right color of blue. I don't know, I'm a toddler. So, ooh, something shiny. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a toddler. I'm so simple. Ooh, you tried to use hypnosis, didn't you? Didn't you, Herman? Didn't quite out, work out for you, did it, Herman? <sighs> Executor. I gotta be careful, Executor, no Psychic. He might get me. Probably not though, especially if I go first. <laughs> eh, but she's Air Slash. No need to draw this out two more turns. I'm thinking about growing the beard out again, you know, long like I had it before. Thinking about it. Every day past noon, huh? Oh, can we start collecting the gym leaders now? Rematches? Because that'd be great. Drowsy. Drowsy, Drowsy, Diglett Cave, Diglett Cave. <laughs> totally use that of course it's gonna eat up a damn hm space or move space sheet uh, did anybody on my team even learn it the Felix? <laughs> no uh, Can't man. I can't I can't give up the moves that I have. We need to go to the move deleter. That's a thing we need to do. We'll do that. As soon as we go see a Brock is here. He was not. I feel lied to. 
said every weekday afternoon. Literally like after noon time, not afternoon. In the colloquial sense. Scared? Well, I guess you are a bird in a cave, aren't you? I guess that makes sense. You also probably could stand a hill up. Let me do that. Let's go finish tearing this route apart. I'll have to look up a guide for uh, what times of the day we need to go find all the gym leaders. And uh, we'll plan our streams accordingly. Be a Jodo! Now... It's a ratata. We don't need a ratata. Ratata ta ta ta. We don't need ratata. Let's see. Hell. Oh, was that everybody? Secret area. I see an item over there, but I can't get to it from here. Okay. Alright, we'll have to go around the other way. We'll deal with that another time. I want to make sure we fought all the trainers on this route before we call it a day. I think we have. what let's do let's take the train back to Johto and we're going to start we're gonna make a we're, gonna to, we're not gonna do it in this stream but we'll go next time and we'll tour around Johto catching wild Pokemon and we'll start working on our Johto decks thankfully there's not a whole ton of Pokemon in the Johto decks to catch it's not like a whole 150 set I, I think the number hovers around 100 it may be 100 even I don't remember um, I guess I can Google that while we take the train. How many Johto Pokemon are there? One hundred. Thought so. I was thinking it was one hundred. So instead of one fifty or more, it's one hundred.
<laughs> Blue. Hopefully next time we play this, because it's going to be quite a few days, I won't forget what we were doing when we last left off. I will say, let me take a moment to apologize to everybody for this playthrough being so haywire and chaotic and all over the place. I did end up doing this playthrough a hell of a lot different, uh, differently than I did some of the other playthroughs. Oh, there's a question, or there's an exclamation point on this route. Let's check that out. Yeah, I ended up cutting this playthrough dead halfway through and probably not even halfway through. And I ran off and played a whole ton of other games in between. Um, I'm going to try not to do that anymore. And this is like the third time I think that we're doing this playthrough, second or third time. So I'm not exactly wanting to play this game a 50th time on the show. Um, like in my own personal time, I could play this game for the rest of my life and it wouldn't affect me. But doing it for this purpose, you know, streaming it and everything can get a little tedious doing it over and 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 over. And over. <laughs> Go away, Pidgey. Good God almighty, I guess I'm going to have to use a repel. You know what? No. Shut up. Okay, yeah, I got to go through the grass here, so I'm going to use a repel. All right, we're absolutely going to wrap up today after I check out this last exclamation point. Damn it. I keep trying to get out of here and keep running into tasks. We'll be here all night if I don't make myself run. Ah, it's Youngster Joey. Hell yeah. How's that Rattata doing? Have you evolved it yet? He has. Look at him. Raticate. Look at you. Look at you. You evolved your Rattata. Your Rattata. Too bad it was over like that. That's a shame. Well, we got an item out of it, so I mean, there's that. I see any other. Uh... Okay. We'll save at the Pokemon Center. I got some editing to do. Hmm. Hmm. But if you guys haven't done so yet, do me a favor. Uh, the link in the video description below. Um, you know, click on that. Go around to the various social medias that I have on there. I got like threads and Instagram and stuff. If you're on those platforms, follow me on there too. I joined the Discord. I'm trying to get more people to join the Discord so that it'll be a little more active and we can have a little more fun in there. I do put a lot of time and effort into the Discord, though, so I'd appreciate it if you guys, you know, checked it out. I'm going to do a double save real quick before we head out. I do that, a lot of people do that with video games in general, but I do it specifically with Pokemon because sometimes with these DS emulators, when you go to load your game, it'll say this save file is corrupt or burr, 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 loading a previous one. So it's better to save twice. Just on the off chance. Okay, well that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I greatly appreciated the journey that we've taken through Kanto and Johto. We now have all 16 badges, so the only thing left to do now is to start finding and collecting Pokemon and go fight Red. And we will get around to that next time. Unfortunately, it'll probably be another week or so before we get back to playing Pokemon Soul Silver, as there are a ton of games to play before we can get back around to this. So, putting a small pin in this for now. Not as big of a gap as last time promise. All right. See you folks.